Hi, I'm Elena of popthepimple.com and today I want to talk to you about once again my favorite brand that doesn't pay me for these videos. Yes, I'm not sponsored by this brand, but I love them so much that I will shout my love for them from the rooftops every day. I mean, seriously, I have converted so many people onto this brand that it's not even uh, funny. Today I'm talking about Bioderma and specifically since you know I am like the biggest sunscreen fan ever, like as in I intend to look 19 for the rest of my life. The reason that I can look 19 for the rest of my life, like the one thing that allows me to do that is sunscreen. And so today I'm going to be talking about the Bioderma Photoderm range of sunscreens. So Bioderma has many different ranges. They have ranges for sensitive skin, the Sensibio range, they have ranges for dehydrated skin, the Hydrobio range, they have a range for acne prone skin, the Sebium range, and they have the Photoderm range. It's the orange one. So this range is amazing because it's sunscreen and the thing that I love about Bioderma, they provide broad spectrum protection and they are often, you know, fragrance free and water resistant. And these are things that you want to look for in a sunscreen in order to get adequate protection. It's really, really important that you wear your sunscreen. You should watch my sunscreen video to learn more about, you know, the difference between chemical and mineral sunscreens and all the rest of it. Basically, there is no better one. As long as you wear sunscreen, that's good. The best sunscreen is the sunscreen that you actually put on your face. The best sunscreen is the sunscreen that protects you. But I mean, there are brands out there that are terrible, that don't actually live up to their labels, like Neutrogena. So I do not use brands in you know the typical sunscreen aisle in a in a like a big store like Walmart I don't know I only use sunscreens from two brands okay Bioderma or Polish Choice that's it I am like very elitist with my sunscreen it has to be the best the best the best the best because as you know many sunscreens clog your pores and for me um, being you know a skin health coach it would kind of be a little weird if I was using products that clogged my skin. And many sunscreens in like natural skincare ranges contain so many different kinds of oils that they, I don't know how they even protect the skin from the sun, given that a lot of them have oils high up on the ingredient list that, you know, oils kind of attract the sun as opposed to repel the sun. So an oil-based sunscreen, I have no idea how that works from a chemical perspective, but I know what it does on a pore level, it clogs, it clogs. It clogs your pores. So I have all of these sunscreens from Bioderma and I'm going to include the Hydrobio SPF 30 in this because it is a very, very good sunscreen. But if you want to hear about my review on this, then watch the Hydrobio range video because this is an amazing a little everyday sunscreen. So, okay, let's begin with maybe the body sunscreen because many of us forget that our body actually tans under the clothes as well especially you know in the summer when the sun is so bright and so high especially depending on where you are in the world you know you can really cause some real damage and you don't want to just protect your face your whole body kind of matters you know and i think it's very important to wear sun protection liberally on your whole body in the summer and i love this because look how huge it is it is 400 milliliters of spray sunscreen so you can kind of get to hard to reach places by spraying it. I warn you this nozzle is very very strong. This is SPF 50 Photoderm Max but it depends on where you are in the world because I believe in Canada they only have SPF 40 in this uh, size and in this product. So Bioderma is available literally all around the world. That's what I love about them. That's why I choose Bioderma. It's, I pretty much can find it in any pharmacy around the world. So I love how accessible it is and I love how well formulated the products are and I love that 
their broad spectrum protection, so you get UVA protection as well. This one, it does have an invisible texture, even though it comes out white and it spreads very easily, so I really like it. But my favorite thing is like how big it is. I love how much sunscreen I get. Bioderma products are really well priced for what they are. For another one that covers the body, but can also work on the face, this is the Photoderm Sensitive SPF 50. This is literally probably the highest protection you can get because it has very high UVA protection. It's almost as high as the UVB protection here. And what I love about Bioderma sunscreens is that they often will put the actual UVA rating as well as the UVB rating, but they only do this in Europe. Keep that in mind because the rating system hasn't been universally agreed upon yet around the world. So like Asia has their own rating system, Europe has their own rating system, the US doesn't have a rating system, the FDA is trying to figure that out now, but Europe is more stringent on ingredients. They're really like on top of their I really like that they actually you know, do a rating system and it kind of allows you to know like this sunscreen has better broad spectrum protection than this sunscreen. You know, the rating system does help because some sunscreens have like a UVA rating of, you know, 20, some 30, some 40. And so I choose the highest possible UVA protection because UVA rays are the ones that are going to jack up your collagen, make your pores weak and saggy and more prone to acne. So I'm like, no, 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 thank you. Uh, no, thank you. This is a thicker product. It's uh, extreme milk, very high protection, photosensitive skin, water resistance, and without fragrance, and it's without parabens for those people who are afraid of parabens. All the Bioderma sunscreens are without parabens, and usually they're without fragrance, I believe, as well, as far as I can see. Yep, fragrance-free. Very, very good product. Um, this one you can use on your body for, like, extremely high protection. This is for those people who, you know, burn at the slightest bit of the sun. Amazing, amazing protection. Or, like, if you're out on the beach, wear the highest protection possible. Like, do it, you know, and try Try obviously to protect yourself with like an umbrella, with some uh, protective clothing, a hat, sunglasses, so that you're not burning your skin. Like it's just not a good idea. Tans are stupid. Get some self tanner, get a fake tan. That's what I do, fake tan. And I've used this on both the face and the body. It's thick on the face, but still does an amazing job. This is something I would wear if I'm literally out in the sun, which is something I try to avoid doing. But if like I'm at the beach, and this is the sunscreen I'll probably be using on my face. I also have this one. This is a Photoderm Max SPF 100. I'm not sure that this is even available in North America because in North America, I believe that anything above an SPF 50 is not sold. And it's not that it's not sold because it doesn't work or whatever. It's just that this is what happens with SPF. SPF 30 protects you from 97% of the rays. So 3% still get in. SPF 70 protects you from 98% of the rays. So, you know, anything above an SPF 50 is kind of almost the same as an SPF 50. When I got this product, I think I didn't see anything else. So I'm like, I'm just taking it. And this is very high protection for sensitive skin and it's a fluid texture. So the texture is very light, but I do find it can ball up on top of certain things. So with sunscreens, you might find that. If you use like a silicone product underneath, then your sunscreen might ball up. And it's just a matter of experimenting to find like the perfect combination of products that work together that don't make the sunscreen fall up. But what I do with this one in particular is I wear it on my morning runs. I just simply wash my face and without anything on my face, on my dry face, I apply this sunscreen, go for a run, come back, wash it off, and then do the rest of my skincare routine. I don't wear SPF 100 every single day. But what I do do is I wear, do do, I wear SPF 30 every single day, a minimum of SPF 30, but I do wear SPF 50 when I'm out kind of more like out and about when I know I'll be leaving the house. I'm definitely wearing SPF 50. If it's summer, it's going to be definitely SPF 50. I do SPF 30 minimum, let's say spring, winter, you know, when I don't see so much sun, 
but in the summer, spring, on days when I'm out, SPF 50 is what I aim for because I want to get maximum protection. Now, speaking of SPF 50, this is what I love about Bioderma. They have awesome SPF 50s. These are both Photoderm, obviously, but one is AR and one is laser. They're both creams and they're both very high protection and they both have high UVA ratings and all this stuff. But one of them is tinted. The AR is tinted. So this one is tinted. Tinted, tinted. These are both like a, a pretty light cream texture. They're not heavy at all. AR is tinted, which I really, really like. It doesn't have a white cast on your skin when you apply it because it's tinted. But it's not like tinted as in it's going to cover all the imperfections. Maybe it does so just very, very subtly. Enough for those really subtle no makeup days. I think it's awesome. You can still wear makeup on top if you want, but I just like it on its own and it's been my go-to. I tested this out thoroughly. I'm almost done with my first ever bottle of this. Very close to empty. What I don't like about this product is that it only comes in 30 milliliters. Like it's not enough for what it is because I apply my sunscreen generously. Like I glob it on. With this particular sunscreen, you can't be too generous because you, you can experience some pilling when you use too much of this. So you just use the amount that you need to get even coverage to protect your whole face. But still, this is like one of my ultimate favorite products probably ever because SPF 50, high UVA rating, and also a very, very good texture and it's tinted. Like what else does a girl need? This is my go-to summer product. It has been. To be fair, my Paula's Choice uh, sunscreen that is tinted but SPF 30 is coming soon. I have not fully tried like an entire bottle yet. I've only tried a sample. There's very good uh, feedback on this particular sunscreen that I'm talking about. So I would love to kind of compare the two. But this price point is better than the Paula's Choice and the SPF once again is higher. So even if the Paula's Choice might be more cosmetically elegant, whatever, this one is still better bang for the buck. SPF 50, SPF 50 in the summer, you know, yeah. So I really love this product. Um, but I got the untinted version before I got the tinted version because I didn't see the tinted version. And so I have both, but I prefer the tinted one, even though they're both fantastic products. It's just, you know, the tinted one, you know, it's just, it's tinted. So there's no white cast on your skin. Um, I'm not saying that they all have serious white casts, but again, I'm a pale person. So that's something that you might want to consider. Like if you have darker skin, they also, this is the tint naturel, the natural color but they have a golden color that's even darker than this one. So I would consider going for the darker color so that you don't have to deal with a white cast that some sometimes sunscreens have. But that white cast kind of means that the sunscreen has some good protection in there that's you know doing something, protecting you. I don't hate the white cast in sunscreens. I always can you know even it out with some powder on top. My mineral powder is amazing, plus it has SPF 20 in it. You can read about it on my blog or I'll provide a link below. It's very important that you wear sunscreen. And throughout the day, if you need to reapply your sunscreen, I'm gonna do a shout out for the spray sunscreen from the Hydra Bio range. It's not in the Photoderm range, but it's really, really good. Plus the Hydra Bio Perfector SPF 30 um, is also an amazing everyday product for you know spraying and winter like when you're not really out or like if you're not leaving the house this is the product i like to wear spf 30 minimum even when i don't leave the house that's how legit i am too legit to quit and i like to carry this one around with me in my bag so that i can reapply throughout the day like on my body specifically i really like this and what i recommend you do with in terms of makeup like if you're wearing makeup throughout the day i know you don't want to glob on more sunscreen right that's just gonna ruin your makeup and it might feel gross and sticky and ridiculous so you can either do a fine mist of this but i prefer to just dust my face very generously with a powder that has SPF 20 minimum in it and broad spectrum UVA protection because mineral powders often come with 
zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, which is mineral, sunscreen protection, and it's really, really good. So you can just be very generous with the powder throughout the day that has sun protection in it so that you are reapplying, so that you're continuing to be protected from the UVA and UVB rays. Because you don't want to age your skin. That's going to equal terrible skin. I hope you really enjoyed this sunscreen video. My dream come true, a video about just sunscreen that I try and wear. If you need help choosing the right sunscreen for you, or if you need help like customizing your skincare routine, because everyone's skin is different and I understand that choosing a good product can be super confusing and super annoying and frustrating and instead of you know wasting tons of money and getting like really frustrated with the process you can just actually work with me I have a routine review service where I work directly with clients like literally over Skype we chat we see each other where I learn everything about your skin type and curate like a customized AM, PM skincare routine. We talk about makeup, everything that you need to put on your skin. And then there's no guesswork, there's no frustration, there's no wasted money, there's no clogged pores, which that is so annoying. So you can check that out below. I have a link to my routine review service. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you've tried any of these products in the comments below. I would love to hear what you think. And I'm also doing like daily almost Instagram live videos where you can ask me questions live every day. I call my daily powwow. So that was a lot of information. You're like, what do I do? Links below this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. This was Olena, popthepimple.com.